The family of a Mobile police officer killed in the line of duty was able to deliver one final message to their loved one's killer today. Officer Sean Tudor's family faced Marco Perez in court as he was formally sentenced to death today. WKRG News Vice Jeremy Jones joins us now in the studio. And Jeremy, you also spoke today with Tudor's mother. Yeah, that's right, Pina Roseanne, I did. And after five years, they're finally glad to see some justice served for their loved one. Four of Sean Tudor's family members spoke in court about how the last years have been difficult for them. And when the judge asked if Perez wanted to say anything to the court, Perez declined to say anything. The family of Officer Sean Tudor were given the last opportunity to speak to Marco Perez, the man convicted of killing him back in January 2019. Tudor's mother, brother, cousin, and widow gave impact statements on how their life has been since the day Tudor was murdered, saying that Tudor loved being an officer and loved serving his community. It's been devastating, and it's been a long, long process. Um, it's, worth, it's, it, it's hard to explain because the loss of a child is something you never want to bury your child. Tudor was killed at the Peach Place in apartments while working undercover. During the trial, Perez's defense argued that Perez acted in self-defense. He was convicted of capital murder in February, and in a formal sentencing hearing, the judge upheld the jury's decision for the death penalty. Perez's defense attorney, Dennis Nisley, said appealing the conviction could take some time. Unfortunately, in death penalty cases, you know, this could be decades before this is uh, ultimately resolved in the appellate system. And that's because with the capital murder case in Alabama, whatever punishment the jury recommends is ultimately upheld. Today justice was done. Marco Perez uh, received the death penalty as he deserved. Uh, death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst, and Marco Perez certainly fits that bill. In the courtroom, Tudor's family said that Marco cannot be changed and can't understand why he would murder Tudor. And after five long years, Tudor's mother is just happy that she won't have to come back to a courtroom again for her son's murder. The actual sentence was hard for me, but I think God took care of that and justice was served. And after today's hearing, Perez was taken to Holman Prison in Atmore, where he will now sit on death row. He will have to return to court in Mobile on July 18th, where he will face his other non-capital charges, like assault and theft of property. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.